You may have noticed that when you're working in Jaspersoft, all of your filters will automatically add up with an AND function. So if you've got multiple filters, it must meet all of those requirements in order for an event to be brought back. However, there might be some instances where you want to have an OR function. You might want something to come back if it meets one requirement or if it meets another, but not necessarily if it meets both. In order to do that, we're going to use this functionality down at the bottom right called Custom Filter Expressions. If you open that up using that arrow, you can see that you can put in some logic to dictate how you'd like the filters to operate. So in this case, I've brought back a query where I'm looking at whether the report has been reported to RAPE, the Rail Accident Investigation Branch, or whether it's been sent to the ORR for meeting riddle rules. If I was interested in knowing whether this was the case, I could create filters for both RAPE and the sent to our indicators. If I set these both to yes and return the results, it will bring back all events where the event happened in the last full period and it was reported to RAID and it met the riddle rules to be sent the ORR. And as you can see here, it's only brought back events where this is answered yes to both of these questions. If we look at totals data, we can see that in the last full period, there were 95 such events. However, if we want to incorporate a custom filter here, and we want to say it happened in the last full period, and it was either reported to RABE or reported the RR, we'd have to use a custom filter expression. In this case, we're gonna use one similar to the example that's just above, and we're gonna say that we want to be A and B or C. You can see that these are named A, B, and C, and these will automatically be named as you put your filters in. It's important to note that if you're putting in a custom filter expression, you must always include all of the filters you've got present. So in, I couldn't just have this as B or C, it, it wouldn't work. So I have to always include A and B or C in this case. Once you're happy, as with any other filter, I'm going to click apply. It will rerun the query. And now you can see that we've got some results where, for example, it wasn't reported to A, but it was reported to the RR. Some was reported to both, and some was reported to RABE, but not the RR. In order so we can double check to see that more events have been brought back, click on totals data, and we can now see there's 262 such events. Such custom filters are useful if you want to use multiple indicators. So any of the fields ending in IND are quite useful for this work. You can also use it to use for narratives or descriptions containing one keyword or another. And you can also do it to look at multiple days of the week or multiple locations. But that concludes custom filters.